Hello knife lovers, welcome to Knife Delights. I want to share uh, another delightful antique store gem that I found. This knife is a Hibbard, Spencer, and Bartlett Model 101. It's a two-bladed jackknife on a serpentine frame, sometimes referred to as a dog leg. Now I'll point out that on the cap bolster, you see it curves down. If that cap bolster curved up, in a reverse dog leg, then it would be referred. This knife would be referred to as a peanut. So the tang stamp on the pen blade reads Hibbard, Spencer, Bartlett, and Company. Now the tang stamp on the main clip point blade here is pretty worn out, which happens. So it's kind of nice that they um, stamped the pen blade because that blade gets used less and the, the tang stamp doesn't wear out quite so fast. And then if you flip the knife over on the main blade, the clip point here, you can see there's 101 stamped into it. So model 101. Uh, before we begin here, if you like the content that Knife uh, Delights offers, Please consider subscribing to the channel, and as always, your comments are very welcome. So, let's find out a little bit about this company before we review the knife. Hibbard, Spencer, and Bartlett, or HSB for short, was a hardware wholesaler located in Chicago from 1855 to about 1960. At least it is written in most knife books that the cutlery sales stopped around 1960. HSB did not manufacture their own knives. According to knife books, most of their knives were made by Ulster, Camillus, New York Knife, and Schrade. Eventually, HSB became true value, and some of their later knives featured this uh, stamp on the blade or shield. Another trademark that was featured on many of their knives was OVB, which stood for Our Very Best. The company was originally named Hibbard and Spencer. In 1864, Adolphus Bartlett started employment as a janitor, and in 1882, he joined the firm. Now, I want to take a break here and just comment that there's another American success story. Can you imagine? Uh, you know, this man starts working out as a janitor, he works hard, works his way up, saves his money, and lo and behold, years later, he's able to buy into the firm, or buy into the company, and add his name to the firm name. What a wonderful story in and of itself. So, the company's buildings were burnt down on two occasions, the first in 1857, and the second in 1871. Now, this is an educated uh, speculation on my part. I am assuming that since the uh, Great Chicago Fire occurred in 1871 that they lost their buildings in, in the Chicago Fire. Now the HSB and company had a large selection of hardware, tools, cutlery, paints, sporting goods, and many more items with different brand names to choose from. They also offered advertised giveaway items for their many merchants to distribute. In 1932, the True Value brand was introduced. In 1962, HSB and Company was sold to John Cotter and Company for the True Value brand name. So now you know the origin of True Value hardware. Now, let's take a look at this wonderful knife. So, the knife weighs in at 1 ounce or 28 grams and its overall length is two and three quarters inches. Again, it's a two-bladed knife, and on the clip blade, it has about a one and seven eighths inch cutting edge. And on the pen blade, it has a cutting edge of about uh, one and three sixteenths inches. And the blades do have half stops. It features some very nice natural bone covers. I mean, these are just beautiful. I just love these covers. Look at that. Now, if you look close, you can see there is some shrinkage. Now, 
but I just I find that you know of course you know it's just been of late that I've been, become a big fan of bone covers and uh, wow this was quite a find for me I just love it the bolsters and single pin are nickel silver uh, the bottom bolsters here where the blades pivot you can see that those bolsters are squared off and the cap or top bolsters is rounded and they're rounded turning the knife over we can see that we have a brass liner and look at the fancy work on that brass liner now I doubt that that was a like a hand filing job I'm sure it was stamped out that way or whatever but it sure gives this knife a, a classy look just look at that I've done very little cleaning on this knife I did wire brush off the tang stamp just a little bit so it would be clear and I have oiled it just a little bit but as you can see um, you know has plenty of good snap to it yet and I can probably get it to get the walk and talk improved just a little bit with some more work on it so there you have it another Great knife from the past, the Hibbard, Spencer, and Bartlett Model 101 Jackknife. I hope you've enjoyed this review, and remember, find delight in every knife you collect.